Hello, this is Walter Barker with uh, ProTime. What we're going to do is going to do a little amazing trick with uh, numbers and a calculator here. Uh, let's say that you had a guy said, I'm Rain Man Jr. Here, take the calculator. Now enter a two digit number. So he hits a two digit number. Okay, see that two digit number? And then he says, hit times, and then hit equal twice. What you just did, you just cubed the number to the third power. And you're holding the calculator so he can't see it, and you say, okay, tell me the answer. And you say 592,704. And he says 84 within, um, within 15 seconds. I'll show you how to do that. It's kind of hard to demonstrate without another person here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to certify you as a genius. What they do is they take a genius and let them see a 26-digit number. Okay? So what I want you to do is I want you to read this number one time out loud. Okay? 0108276412521 2163435127291000 okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to offer you 100 dollars in cash right now if you can give me that number backwards and forwards perfectly okay go ahead try okay you probably only do about 7 digits and then you lose it from there but going back to my previous video uh, about linking something to a loci with pictures words and feelings what we're going to do is we're going to link of images to the board and you're going to be able to remember that number only seeing it one time. Now what I want you to do is picture this corner of the board here, uh, picture a gigantic tree there falling on you. Would you remember that, yes or no? Uh, picture a swinging gate here slap you in the face several times. How many times would a swinging gate have to slap you in the face right there to remember it? About once. So picture the tree falling and embedding itself into the gate. Now over in this corner is two dice rolling the number seven. The dice hit you in the face, bounce off the gate, go back in the corner. Would you remember that, yes or no? A gigantic football player, number 64, comes off the board here tackling you, and he's chewing on the dice. Would you remember that, yes or no? And somebody glued a dollar bill here and a quarter glued on top of that. The football player is chewing the quarter. The quarter flies across the room, cuts down the tree. Now go ahead and try to tell me what they are. Number one, number two, number three, number four, and number five. Right, now the greatest teacher on earth taught in parables. Parables are picture stories that stay in the mind forever. And these images are linked to that particular loci with pictures, words, and feelings. So you look at the item, which is a tree, and you ask me, what does that mean? I'll tell you. What does that mean? Okay, tree. Uh, how many trees? One tree. O1. Gate rhymes with eight. That's O8. So O1, O8. Two dice rolling seven is 27. A football player, number 64. And a dollar and a quarter is one, two, five. This is also a math table. It allows you to extract a cube root in your head. 1 to the third power is 1, 2 to the third power is 8, 3 to the third power is 27, 4 to the third power is 64, 125. So let's complete this. Two 16-year-olds are, are, um, are kissing the board right here, and their lips are stuck to the board. Would you remember that, yes or no? And the quarter trying to scrape them off, they're still stuck up there. Look up here, picture the gigantic number 4 falling on top of you, and there's threes coming out of both sides of the number 4 like springs like jack-in-the-boxes. That's 343. Three. So the, the springs are wrapped around the legs of the two 16-year-olds. So the quarter scrapes them off, and that's 216 and then 343. Three. So 216 and 343, three, which is 7 to the third power and 6 to the third power. Now, the 343 three smashes five dozen donuts, gets all the gooey stuff on the board here. It hits a seven-layer cake, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven-layer cake with a 29 candle on top. And... Um, the donuts are smashed into the cake. Out pops a $1,000 bill and staples to the board right here. And then the $1,000 bill is wrapped several times around the tree. So what was here? Yep, five dozen donuts, 512. Write 729 in the birthday cake, 729 and 1,000. Now, simply this way. If we took an ice cube for cube, the, give us the uh, title cube, and we froze a comma in the center of it, we split the number at the comma. The word between is frozen in the ice over here. And the word end. What I'm doing, I'm loading a little program for this table. Between and end. So I enter a two-digit number, and here's the answer. 157,464. You split the number at the comma. 157 lies between what are the two numbers? It lies between 125 and 216. It lies between position 5 and 6. Which is lower, 5 or 6? Five, you put that answer there. Now, what's the end number of the end number? Four. Look around the room until you find the only number that ends in a four. 
64. What position is that located in? 4. You write that down there, and that gives you the answer. Now, the reason this works is because 125,000 is 50 to the third power. 216,000 is 60 to the third power. 50 is between uh, 50 and 60, so it's got to be a 5 because it's between those two. Every one of these numbers ends with three zeros for the actual table. So you actually memorized a 56-digit number. Um, 1,000, 8,000... 27,000, 64,000, 125,000. And then an 8 dances with a 2, and a 7 dances with a 3. Because when you cube a number that ends in an 8, the answer always ends in a 2. Notice that 8 is at position 2. And the one that ends in 2 is at position 8. So anytime you cube a number 8 with, ends in a 2, it ends with an 8. And then notice the one that ends in a 3 is position 7. The one that ends in 7 is position 3. So 3 and 7 flip with each other when you cube. Every other number stays the same. 1 is a 1, uh, 4 is a 4, 5 is, ends with a 5, 6 ends with a 6, uh, 9 ends with 9, and 0 ends with 0. So you're able to extract the cube root in your head in less than 15 seconds uh, if you do that, So if you, if you enjoy that. So contest us at our website. We got a little correspondence course that covers um, five links to form a memory bridge, unlimited locations, five ways of making up silly pictures words based on your goals, and uh, three ways to intensify your feelings. And then we have what's called um, um, power with numbers, and then how to speed read and remember what you read up to rates of 400 words a minute. Thank you very much, and have a great day.